Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be reviewing this Moforn, M-O-P-H-O-R-N, uh, pneumatic bladder jack. Uh, let me zoom in on it for you. Uh, right now this is under my four post lift. This is an advantage lift. It's under the, uh, the, uh, the jack tray. And from what I read, this is an ideal jack for a situation like this. I did it on my front when I did the, uh, the front struts, raised it up so I could put jack stands under it. And then I'm gonna do the same when I do the rear. Um, here's a little shot you can kind of see of it underneath uh, when I was doing my front struts. First, I'm gonna take this off and kind of show you how it works. So this is the jack right here. It is not incredibly heavy or anything. You're on level ground. The installation, there's this blue tube uh, that comes out. You have to unscrew this, slip the blue tube over the retaining sleeve or whatever, and then uh, screw this nut over it so it keeps it there. And then you have your open pressure, and then you have your closed pressure. Um, this goes by a few different names on Amazon. There's the CXRCY one, there's the Moforn, and they're all the same. Um, I'll link it down below. It'll be in the affiliate link, but um, I'll link it down below. And let me kind of give you the gist of how it works. So this is a pneumatic jack. You're gonna need your air hose. I put high flow fittings on it. Um, so I'm just gonna screw this in. I'm gonna put this in. And what I would recommend is if you're gonna be doing this, uh, do it on the ground first. I had it underneath the car lined up first. And the open nozzle was, here, let me recreate what happened. So the open nozzle and like this nozzle was open. So when I plugged this in, it just started going up. So now I have to let it down. And um, just, and if you're not gonna put it on the ground, open both like when it's winged out like this, this is open, meaning the air is going in to lift it up, that's closed. Open to let the air go out, that's closed. So if you're gonna do this for the first time without putting it on the ground to uh, get the controls right, put them both at that angle, out and out. Finish lowering it down, and I'll show you kind of how fast it goes up and how you can control the speed of it as well. Okay, so it's fully collapsed, let's plug it in. And then, so you can control the speed, make it like kind of slow, like this, where it's just barely inflating, like that. You can make it a little faster, you can full speed it. Um, Letting it down is like, kind of like one speed. You can let it down slower like that, but you're not gonna get as fast going down as up, which is probably safe. And now let's put it back up on the jack tray underneath the car and I'll show you how it works for the car. Okay, I'm gonna throw my air on, like that. All right, I'm gonna raise this slow. And you'll watch it jack up this rear end here. Now that it's got a load on it, it's gonna go even slower. Um, and this is not the most ideal, but I'll stand under here. And get it going a little faster. And that should be high enough for me to get jack stands underneath it. And that's just enough. It's just high enough for me to get a jack stand under that side. I'll put one under there. And this is just high enough to where I can get them under there. I can start letting this down once I disconnect the shocks and get the, the springs extended so I can put my new lowering springs in. And then if I needed another like inch or two, I could just flip this jack tray over so it's not on the, out, the undercut side, it's on the flat side. And then I could jack it up that way and it'd give me another uh, two inches or so. But yeah, I've used this twice so far, love it. I can't give you like a long-term review on it and maybe in a few years or so I can. Um, but so far this has been real handy, especially with a four post lift and not buying the you know, $1,500 bridge jack that goes underneath them. I might splurge on that one day and just get it when I, you know, it might be, it might come in handy. But this was $100. And even if I do get the bridge jack, it, this is useful in other situations as well. Like you don't need a four post lift to use this. You can do the exact same thing on the ground. Um, but this thing has impressed me for sure. Again, I'll link it down below. It'll be an affiliate link. So if you click it, I do get a commission. It's costed the same either way. Um, if you don't, you can just look up like pneumatic bladder jacks on Amazon and you'll find a bunch of them like this. I was a little bit concerned with like, is it gonna hold the weight and how good are these airbags just gonna pop and blow my head off, but it's been sturdy. Also, let me show you it going down. To be nice and controlled, I'm just gonna open it a little bit. The air's starting to come out, and then this should just kinda lower slowly, as you can see it happening right now.
it's not smooth it's a little stuttery but it's like coming down evenly and like when it was going up when i had it going up slow it was like rawr, 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 but not a big issue so yeah thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions you can leave a comment and i'll get back to you and then uh if you're into like i do review a lot of car stuff and like do car projects on this channel if you're into that you can subscribe but other than that guys have a great day thanks for watching bye